All right, we're working on a uh, 2004, 324,000 miles on it, mind you. But in this case, uh, we had no ICP pressure. So one of the tricks you wanna do when you crank over a six liter, first of all, make sure you got good cranking speed. Turns out these batteries being Optima batteries were very low. So we got our charger on them right now and it's designed to charge gels type batteries. That's our snap on unit, which also does lead acid and, a, and glass mats, in other words, AGMs. Um, but the problem we were having was that uh, we had no ICP pressure. That's why she wouldn't start. But once it did start, took it for a test drive, it died halfway. So it was fun to break down in 114 degree temperature here. So brought her back and turns out we had no oil pressure. So the trick I'm trying to say is, next time you got a crank no start, make sure you got a good cranking speed. But also what we did is we um, checked the oil pressure gauge. Now on the six liters, the oil pressure gauge is not a gauge. It's just a, a switch. So therefore that's why it's not called a sensor, it's called a switch. So in this case, we have an oil pressure switch. And all you're gonna do while you're cranking is eventually after a few seconds or I don't know, 10 second crank, you should see that oil pressure gauge go up. So therefore it's either up or down, you wanna see oil pressure because you cannot have ICP pressure unless you get oil pressure. So we had no oil pressure. So in this case, we went ahead and, uh, you know, let me show you right here. We took the front cover off the oil pump. Now another check, oh, before I forget, is what we have done in the past with six liters is we have tilted the rear of the vehicle. And the reason why we tilt the rear of the vehicle is because if you understand the lower oil pan and the upper oil pan and how it mates with the bed plate going to the front cover, there's two seals right there where you can have a leak too. So another trick you do is to make sure you don't have a leak there is we jack up the vehicle pretty high with our forklift actually we cheated here and what we did is we jacked it up crank it over see if we got no oil pressure and we didn't so therefore it took that out of the way okay now at that point <clears throat> took the oil cover off from the oil pump and sure enough we have some scarring here on this oil pump cover I'm not gonna zoom on it you have to take my word for it so therefore we are we saw this right here so at that point we uh, Put a new oil pump, new cover on. He's putting the wear wing. We went to crank it to see if we build oil pressure. And the thing is, we still weren't getting enough oil pressure. So immediately I saw the cap. Now the oil cap. This was a red flag and it should, should have caught it earlier, but we had two separate problems. So when you look at these oil caps, what's the problem with them? Well, the problem is that they will hang open and the problem is you'll be draining continuously from the oil filter housing. I could go in detail, but what I'm trying to say is make sure you use the correct filter. Now we use the Motorcraft 2016's uh, filters. So in this case, it's a good idea to do that. So anyways, we put the factory filter back on and the cap, make sure you put the cap too. And in this case, next thing you know, I'm building oil pressure, so everything is okay. So there you go. So in a nutshell, A, crank it over, see if you get any, you know, oil pressure switch. And two is, Make sure you put the OE style filters on there, okay? So, there you go. That's our tech tip for the day. Thanks for watching. Cool. Yeah, let's see if we're getting a little gauge moving. There we go. There we go.